Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is a general love reading. I will be looking at the current energies, the energies in the near future, the person on your mind, if there's somebody uh, new, what are the possible outcomes and other details as well. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well and I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can check the schedule of the readings in the description box below this video. Let's start. Let's shuffle four times the deck. Okay, let's see what are the energies around you. Things are moving slowly. Things might have stopped totally, but you are much wiser. You have gotten more clarity about the situation. There was love. You wanted more cooperation. You created great expectations. You worked hard on this, but nevertheless it ended. That is the general impression you are having here. I think that you are overanalyzing the situation and this makes some of you sleepless at night, affecting your sleep or just uh, making you worried that things are not progressing or they might have stopped uh, taking action towards you or expressing love and feelings. What about what is, a ha what is happening in your subconscious that you might not be aware of? Confusion about the situation. Sometimes you think about the good moments, sometimes about not the so good moments and um, you have uh, sadness, disappointment, regrets from this relationship and just be try to be more conscious about this because this might be blocking you from some good opportunities, new opportunities that are coming towards you. I see those opportunities very near in fact uh, and yes, what was the main challenge in the past? A connection that could not be long-term and happy and stable. Some of you were married and uh, unfortunately divorced. And yes, you had created some expectations about long-term commitment with this person. But not only it was not solid or stable, it was bringing so much stress and anxiety. Now, the connection might have been very intensive, very passionate, but toxic and unhealthy, and you want to be aware of that. I think that you have this hope of celebrating the love as soon as possible with the right person for you, and you want this to happen as soon as possible. This is your wish fulfillment. To be in a connection, but connection that is healthy, stable, joyful. Let's see about this person that is on your mind. What are their energies right now? towards you, towards the connection you had. The Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles reversed, the Chariot. Now, this person wants to meet you, wants to connect with you, but they have made a logical decision to move on and to give up on this. They have been contemplating or hesitant, going back and forth in the past, but now they want to move forward and they don't want to talk. But how did they enter this relationship? Okay, when they entered this connection, they were in a low mood. They might have uh, separated or broke up from a very important connection of theirs in the past. Now, they might have just uh, separated or they were thinking... Uh, for quite some time about that separation and yes the the mood the energy of this person when you connected when you first connected was uh, very low their mood but they were attracted towards you you were attracted towards them now what is affecting them in their subconscious uh, stagnancy they believe this is not fair this is not balanced the connection you had and the lack of progress is affecting them in their subconscious what do they think right now that this is a waste of time for them to wait anymore that's why they want to drop this and move forward even though they would like to have that relationship with you but much more harmonious and stable with that four of wands what are they 
thinking about doing next. Okay, too many cards here. Let's try again. What are they thinking about doing next? They are not taking action. They are not thinking about taking action for now. They are just reflecting. That's what I'm getting. But let's see what is the possible outcome in the near future with them. There might be some communication, a friendly one, a serious one, but not happening very fast. It might be very, very postponed. There might be an attempt to reconcile, but I'm getting just that, but not immediately. Now, if you want to know even more details about this person that is on your mind, there's an extended video in the description box below with even more details about them and you. Now, let's continue with the reading. If you're looking for a new person, let's see, who is the next person coming in? What is their energy like? I have Libra here, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Now, they might have a combination between air, water, and Earth in their Sun, Moon, Rising. This seems good. I think that either you will find this person at your workplace, you work together, or you have a similar profession, this is a very balanced, fair person. They will come towards you like a prince or princess charming, like in the movies. It might seem very romantic the beginning. Look at that, the sun card. Very happy. I think this seems like a, a very loving start. Working together. They want to work together with you. They want to know your goals so they can align their goals with yours in order for you to be on the same page about the future of this. I do see very good energies about uh, the next person coming in if you are interested about a new person. I have Leo here as well. And summer season. Maybe you will be meeting this person very soon or you might have already met them. Okay. Capricorn, this was your general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. Hit the like button and share the video if you want to, especially if this resonated with you. I highly appreciate it. I will see you in the next reading. I wish you all the best and bye for now.